So this is how I was mounting the Zargy cases before. I was just using this M8 bolt with this uh, hoop on top and it would fit into my front runner track system. And I'll use a ratchet strap. Um, this one's a Rhino one that would just go over and I would tie the excess cable there. This is the uh, Zargus mount system that was sent out to me. And that is the rubber uh, knob that I connected, which it's not too hard. It's really easy to connect, but also that's kind of a concern because someone could easily remove it. Not much secure. This one, a little bit harder to remove depending on how tight you do it, but it's also allows you to use this for an extra strap on your roof rack. As you can see here, I put my tin up there. So using this on the front runner roof rack, I realized I needed all four to securely mount the uh, case. With only two, it was uneven. So it does require four mounts. So therefore there's not a second set for the other uh, case right there. But you can see I used the ratchet strap on that side and that's how I have these two mounted. ARQ awning deployed. It's a six and a half feet, 270 degree awning with built-in LED lights on the bottom. So it's poleless. We're out here testing it out. There's a shift pod that we have set up now next to the ARQ270 awning. I turned off the Light Force Rock 20s. You can see there's a really good amount of light just from the LEDs on the ARQ270 awning. It's perfect to illuminate the rear cargo area of the FJ and also my two passenger and uh, driver doors on the front. So that way you can easily get out gear and not have such bright lights on at a campsite like this one. But here's a little glimpse of the inside. 
super nice again we're gonna have this set up later stay tuned so this is the B&B &B pinon wood that I'm gonna fire up um, right here in my uh, solo stove bonfire it's a little dirty but you know this thing gets used heavily and I can hear an owl going right now somewhere up there but it's about to smell good natural mosquito repellent it's already super dry pick this up at Academy or Lowe's or Home Depot local hardware store so the trash array right here is what I use to put my firewood in so that way when you show up to a campsite you can just start filling it up with your trash but on your way there I use it to put firewood it holds a lot and this is the setup that we have so far we have our aluminum camp table um, the ARQ awning is providing very good camp light it's not too much I did kind of mess up and I put pinyon wood first and now it's putting off a lot of smoke which is a natural repellent for mosquitoes but I should have put this white oak wood first so that way I wouldn't have all this smoke. So we'll let that die down and then use this tripod right here to start cooking with the solo stove pot set that I have. So I'm gonna get that going. So now that all the wood is out of the trash now I'm gonna go ahead and use it for what it's for. Keep the bags stored on this top zipper. And then from there, I'm able to put trash in this bag and once it's filled up easily pull it out and throw it away and if anything leaks in there there's some drain holes on the bottom so this is the solo stove tripod with pot set and i'm using it on the bonfire because i have larger pieces of wood so instead of using the smaller campfire that i do have i just decided to use the um, bonfire which right now we're boiling uh, some chicken because we're going to make some chicken buffalo dip and we just want to cook it that way instead of using this little grill right there So we got the night going Zeke already had his uh, little bit treat and some water Zargus case right there and then we got this swing Chair from Costco. It's pretty comfy and it was under 50 bucks. So that was a deal The solo so is burning efficiently now as you can see there's no smoke and we already had dinner. We used this new uh, Ozark Trail pot set with a solo stove, made some chicken buffalo sandwiches dip. And we're gonna wrap it up once the, uh, you know, once the fire goes down, then we're pretty much gonna wrap it up right there. But Zeke's staying warm over there. There's his leash, reflective Carhartt leash, with his Carhartt jacket on. Buddy heater just warming up the tent. Reflective exit sign so you can see how to get out. It's not that cool tonight, but this sure does help keep it a little bit toastier. Had to ventilate the portholes so that we don't uh, inhale those fumes.